Well, a lot of people ask me about legal aid or free legal services, if you will, and whether or not they're effective, whether or not you can get good representation with legal aid uh, because you're not paying for it and you have somebody basically representing you for free. So do the services equal services that you might get when you pay two, three hundred dollars an hour or some kind of flat rate? Of course, legal aid is not available for a number of legal services, personal injury, the, the biggest one. Uh, if you're in a car accident or if you're hurt, you know, you need to get a personal injury attorney to represent you and they'll usually charge you a contingency fee of what they may recover. But with legal aid, they're there primarily to help people who A, are indigent or below a certain income level or at the poverty line. There's usually an intake form that you go through to see if you qualify. And if you do in fact qualify, then those areas of law that they can represent you are pretty vast actually. There's a pretty broad uh, field of legal services that legal aid uh, provides. Of course, we're most familiar with legal services or legal aid or free legal services in the area of criminal defense, for example, if you're indigent and you know if you can't afford an attorney, uh, we've all heard that, then a, the court will appoint an attorney for you. Uh, and that's true with respect to the court appointing a private attorney to represent you in your criminal case, or perhaps you might use the public defender's office to uh, represent you in your criminal defense. I know there's a lot of preconceived notions about the public defender's office just or a court-appointed attorney trying to rush to s settle a case or to plea a case out when you know the facts may not be on your side or if there's just an overwhelming caseload they're trying to get through it. And I kind of tend to disagree. I think if you qualify for legal services, free legal aid, then uh, the representation you get will be the same representation you would get if you were paying for those uh, legal services because attorneys have a fiduciary and ethical obligation to represent you as zealously whether you're paying or not paying and uh, there's a professional code of conduct that requires attorneys to provide that service. So uh, do I think there's a big difference between paying for legal services or getting free legal services if you qualify? Well, there shouldn't be at least. Now, in terms of criminal defense, that's available. And if you need to take the case to trial to defend your uh, liberty, then certainly you can rely on those free legal services if you qualify. But a lot of people don't know that legal aid is also available for a number of other things in the civil realm, in the family realm you know, custody issues, for example, uh, divorce issues, employment issues, somebody's trying to deny you wages that you earned, uh, tax issues if you owe taxes uh, or the IRS is trying to wrongfully collect taxes from you. So foreclosure issues if your landlord is trying to evict you, you know, illegally, if you will. There's a lot of areas of law that you may qualify for le free legal services and you may uh, benefit from free legal services. So whenever I talk to a client who you know doesn't necessarily have the ability to pay and if I can of course represent them pro bono then certainly I will but you know attorneys are limited with the amount of cases they can take, the amount of work they can take pro bono um, and the uh, the need to really generate revenue to cover their costs and their overhead. However, legal services and legal aid, they get government grants, they get donations, they're 501 uh, charitable organizations, so those donations are tax deductible for the people, for the donor, the people that give that money to legal services and legal aid, and so they have a vast network of attorneys and staff that can provide legal services to you. So, long story short, if you qualify for uh, legal aid or free legal services, I think you should take advantage of it.